our energy demands always grow. And that's why home solar systems in the US are getting larger and larger. In the last year, we noticed that our customers become more interested in more powerful panels. But how powerful can they really get? Hi, my name is Jason, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the power output of solar panels and look at the models with the highest performance numbers. Before we get to the list of the most powerful solar panels around, I want to talk a bit about what is the so-called standard power output of a solar panel and what is just one panel capable of. Now, in general, people prefer solar panels that range between 350 to 450 watts for their homes. 400 watt panels are the most popular among our customers at A1 Solar Store at the moment. But now, what are 400 watts? Well, that's about as much as a big plasma TV needs, continuously, for example. If you buy 15 400 watt panels, you'll get a 6 kilowatt system, which is roughly enough for the needs of a house. But there is a catch, though, with how much power a solar panel provides. A difference between the rated output of a solar panel and its real-world performance. A panel on a roof never works as well as it does in the lab. The irradiance, the angling, the temperatures, all these things you can't get perfectly in the real world. So the production of a solar panel is usually about 25% less than what the nameplate says. From a 400 watt panel, you'll usually get about 300 to 330 watts. And the same goes for solar systems. If you have a 7 kilowatt solar system, on average, it'll produce about 5 kilowatts of power. The average size of a solar system in the US used to be 6 kilowatts a few years ago, but now it's about 7 kilowatts and growing. When it comes to solar projects of a large scale, such as a solar farm, installers prefer to use the most powerful solar panels available. Now, we often see 500 to 600 watt solar panels and above there. A 600 watt solar panel, for example, may be able to power a small washing machine by itself. The division of solar panels into commercial and residential ones is somewhat arbitrary. I mean, you can use anything you want. However, the more powerful panels are bulkier and have a much simpler design which is probably why installers don't use them for houses as much. Now here I also have to bring up bifacial solar panels, which are very common in large ground systems. Bifacial or double glass panels have solar cells on the rear side. Light goes through the panel, reflects from the ground, and the back side contributes to the production on the front. And in the data sheets, manufacturers write that the rear side can produce up to 25% of what the front side is capable of. If you have a 600 watt bifacial panel, in the lab conditions, you can get about 750 watts from it. In reality, the bifacial gain is usually close to 10%. And it depends on how the panel is installed and how reflective is the surface under it. So what are the most powerful solar panels available, or at least announced? Well, they're all bifacial. For starters, there's the Himalaya G12 from Huasun. It's rated for 730 watts, and with the rear side, you could get over 800 watts from it. Tongwei Solar announced a 743 watt bifacial panel last year, but I don't think it's available just yet. Risen Energy, they've got a hyperion bifacial solar panel in their product line, which is rated for 725 watts. Thornova Solar, they've recently unveiled a 720 watt solar panel. Canadian Solar has 715 watt solar panels, so yeah, you can see. In terms of maximum power, this is the range that we are currently at. But is there an actual limit to how powerful you can make a solar panel? Well, it turns out there is. Chinese company JA Solar at one point announced an 800 watt jumbo panel. It would be enormous, almost 90 inches high and 70 inches wide, weighing almost 96 pounds. It never got commercialized. But eventually, the engineers decided that it was just too big and heavy to work with. Does it mean that we're at the limit of how powerful solar panels get? Well, not exactly. You see, what we've almost reached for now is the maximum efficiency of monocrystalline solar cells. The efficiency is how much sunlight a solar panel converts into electricity, right? Basically, it's a ratio between the power output and the surface of a PV module. The most advanced monofacial solar panels right now are about 23% efficient. Bifacial panels are at 25 to 26 percent, I think. Now, since they use the same crystalline cells, it's unlikely that this number will get much higher as long as we stay with this technology. In the last few years, though, there has been a lot of progress in the research of perovskite solar cells. Now, according to estimates, they'll be about 20 to 25 percent more efficient than our best monocrystalline panels. Some prototype cells reach a 30 percent conversion rate. It means that we'll be able to squeeze more power output from the same space 
Now, I'd say that with perovskite solar cells, well, we can expect things like one kilowatt solar panel. Now, if you're interested in learning more, I suggest you go and check out our video on perovskite solar cells. Uh, also, as always, please leave your questions in the comments. Please subscribe and visit our magazine and A1 Solar Store. I'm Jason, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.